Now we're looking at areas. Now an area, well, quite logically, is an area on the map. Well, hey, but we can actually specify certain areas. We can have, um, if you go inside a building, the inside is the inside area. The outside is the outside area. And we can create these different areas in the map. Um, the, you don't, generally speaking, have an icon to go with an area. Generally, there's no icon. That's the way I'm going to teach you. You can put an icon in if you wanted. So all I've done is I've created an areas.dm file, as you can see. And very briefly, I'm just going to go area, and that's the command. Tab a new line and tab across, then we're going to give it an area name. Well, I'm going to call this outside. Tab across new line, and now what you do is you do something like entered and this is a again a program procedure and you could go to the user you enter entered the house or something like that and then you could go on exited user you leave the house something like that so that's really it that's entered and exited you can use stuff like click and all that like if you wanted but then again just remember it's actually got to be able to click on an icon and if you don't have an icon you can't click on anything but as I was saying really that's it for areas there's not a lot to be covered on all you have to do is now drag that into the map and then once you walk into an area it'll say you entered the house once you leave that area it'll say you leave the house uh, I'll actually incorporate this bit of areas in later tutorials as I said just briefly going over each individual aspect of Beyond in different areas and then we'll actually put it all together to create something or other that actually looks half decent okay so as I said that's it for areas